I analyzed every grade threshold from 2017 up until March 2024 to help me predict the grade thresholds for the May June exams. Now, obviously, I don't work for Cambridge. Don't lie. You see, don't lie on the public platform. But I think you'll find the trends that I came across pretty interesting. So like the video, join the Cambridge Revolution by subscribing, and let's break down the numbers. In my prediction for the pure and thresholds, I made the mistake of omitting the COVID years. So in this video, we're actually going to look at them as well because they help to give the overall picture. Let's start by looking at variant 1. Here's a graph showing the minimum mark required to get an A star for variant 1 over the past 6 years. You can tell that there are 3 significant regions on this line graph. We have the first region where the thresholds are pretty much at their highest. This is the pre-COVID era from 2017 to 2019. The minimum mark to get an A star is hovering around the mid 220s and shockingly enough, this is what Cambridge considers to be their typical standard for grade thresholds. Just after the pre-COVID era, you notice a huge dip in the thresholds. This my friends is the period that made people like me look smart. Cambridge was just handing out A stars on a silver platter. As you can tell, the thresholds are at an all-time low. This is the period from 2020 to 2022. Now, although May June 2023 showcases a very low threshold, this year marked the beginning of the post-COVID era. Thresholds are starting to approach those of the pre-COVID era. I go into more detail on this in my what grade thresholds are video, so make sure to give that a watch if you don't know what I'm talking about. And so is this trend also appearing in the other variants, or is it only just affecting variant 1? Well, you'd be surprised because all three variants can be easily split into these three stages. Pre-COVID, COVID, and post-COVID. And the most shocking observation I made is that the February-March 2024 minimum mark for an A-star was 228. The last time we had a February threshold that high for math was back in 2020. And this was the last pre-COVID exam. I hate to be that guy, but... It's not looking good, man. The February-March average for papers in the COVID era is 219 marks compared to the pre-COVID era of 231 marks, which is very close to the 228 recorded in this year's February paper. Now, admittedly so, June thresholds are typically lower than February thresholds. In fact, in the past six years, there have only been two occasions in which June papers have had a higher threshold than the February-March paper, and that's happened in the past two years. However, in four of the last six years, June thresholds have not exceeded the February threshold. So maybe there's hope for those those of you who wrote in June. But then again, there's the whole issue with the leaks, so it could just cancel out and we could witness some crazy thresholds. So here are my predictions for the May-June 2024 GCE A-Level Maths 9709 papers. Disregarding the leaks, of course, I'll make the prediction starting from the variant that I think will have the lowest threshold. So, in third place, with a predicted minimum mark to get an A-star, at 220, we have, drumroll please, a variant 1. Honestly, I'm not too shocked. It never actually does well in the June series. In fact, last year, it recorded a shameful 198 minimum mark to get an A star. So I'd say the third place is justified. For those of you who wrote variant 1, you're probably going to have the most favorable threshold of the lot. Now, swiftly moving on. Second place had a predicted minimum mark of 222, and so this means that our winner with the highest predicted threshold of 227 is... Not so fast. 76% of you guys who watch the videos are not subscribed, so subscribe if you want the thresholds to be low. And maybe, just maybe, I'll put in a word to Cambridge for you guys. But anyways, drum roll please. Variant 3. So that means in second place we have Variant 2. I've been preaching this for a while now. The thresholds for Variant 3 are just ridiculous. And you can tell that Variant 3 started returning to the pre-COVID standards back in 2022. I genuinely don't understand what's going on with this variant. Just look at the comparison to Variant 2. It's outrageous. Someone in the comments, please enlighten me. What happened? Why are your thresholds so high? What did you guys do to Cambridge? 
Are you guys just that smart? Now, obviously, most of you want to know the other grade boundaries. I'll admit, I didn't analyze them as much as the A star grade boundary, but typically, the difference between grade boundaries here is around 26 marks, and in some instances, it may be more or less than that, but I've just used 26 marks throughout, so make of that what you will. And lastly, comment below your predicted grade thresholds for maths. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you.